guys, it is Pre Fun Fan 97 here with another YouTube tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to run Windows applications on your MacBook Pro. Um, so to get started, you want to go ahead and first go to your internet and you want to search um what's it called? You want to search, let's see. So you want to search this application, Win on 10. So search Win on 10. And it's gonna be the first link. And you should go ahead and download it. I'm not sure if it's for free. Um, you have to check the Mac App Store. So go ahead and click on that, and it takes you to this page. It is five dollars, but um, I mean it's really well worth five bucks if you're gonna run multiple uh, Windows applications on this. Um, they have made a new version of this um, now. It's really cool. You don't even have to do. Um, you don't have to do many things as crossover does like do very complicated tasks all you do is install it and run the exe which is windows based operating uh program and once you run that you're basically set to go i mean that's all you got to do you don't have to set up anything to run it so once you have it downloaded it and uh paid for it i guess um you want to go ahead and open it it's called win os win on 10 or win on x and once you've opened it you can just simply drag and drop it on here or just click uh, double click the file on um, on this and it will automatically um, detect that it's a Windows based operating program and if you double click this it's gonna say building system in the program and once it builds it you've now got the Mac version I mean it's still a Windows um, installer but it's just you know like it looks like the Mac um, you can, this is Clio 4.1 by the way, if for Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, if you haven't noticed. Um, but yeah, I mean, it works perfectly fine. Um, everything works um, just as smooth as it does on Windows. And that's one uh, way to install it. You can do standard or, you can do standard or add a virtual machine. A virtual machine basically um, replicates a real hard drive on your Mac without really installing uh, or putting a hard drive on your Mac. And that's one way to do it. So you would click um, HDD and press OK. It's going to start building the system. So if you go back here, it shouldn't take that long. But yeah, it's a really cool program. I really suggest you guys getting this. This is by far the best app, I guess, um, on Mac to run it. So once it's done, uh, you've now created an HD HDD. Um, virtual machine or you can just do standard and you can remove it so that is basically it you can do applications administrative tools uh, this is um, again like it windows these are windows programs you can do more applications and programs and utilities which is pretty cool